Good morning and welcome back to another episode. It's nice and early in the morning. We are currently in Dunedin, uh, heading further south towards Invercargill. But on the way, Henry and I are going to hit the famous Matau River uh, here in the bottom end of NZ. Um, a beautiful river from what I've worked out. Um, very, very famous for its sight fishing for brown trout. Um, I'm probably going to stick with the fly, even though you are allowed to spin in most sections of this river. Henry's going to spin, so that way we can sort of mix it up, cover the water really well. Hopefully have a really good day. It is pretty miserable out there. But it don't matter, because we're keen anyway. We're here, we're going to do it. And here comes Henry now. Here he is. Morning, Henry. Good morning. Keen? Yep. Ready for this? Yeah. Going to get into some trout? Yeah, hopefully. Big, big browns? Yep. Yeah, let's do it. Go. Uh, I reckon we're on the Matawa River, which is an absolutely magnificent piece of water, famous around the world. Yep. Really famous for its uh, dry fly fishing, sight fishing for big brown trout, up to three or four kilos. That's what I'd like to do today. It doesn't have to be a big one, but I would like to sight fish um, a trout. And it wouldn't really matter whether we use an unweighted nymph, weighted nymph, surface like a dry fly would be fantastic but either way i don't think we're going to be too fussed if we can sight a few fish and get one to eat would be epic so that's what we're going to go and try and do come along see how we go what's your goal catch any fish any fish yep right -o. let's do it Great, looking at a perfect little bubble line. Show us a fish. Oh, yep, there's a fish. Yep, there's a fish. There's, there's a fish, there's a fish. Slurping off top. Right in the slow water. Just gotta try not to spook him. The sun's on a really bad angle, so I can't actually see what direction he's facing. Like, I don't know how I'm gonna get to him without spurking him. I'm gonna just crawl along the grass here and get a bit closer. So you'll have to keep nice and low behind me, all right? Right over good. Oh no, there he is. He's still here. Tricky spot. Oh, that's how they're living. Which way is he going to go? He's really just slurping everything that's there. Oh, there he comes around. Here he comes, here he comes. Come on, slurp that little fly. Lost track of him. Don't move. Oh, he was almost gonna eat that. See him cruising out? He was almost gonna eat that then. He almost eat it and refused it. He bolted. <gasps> Oh no, that's heartbreaking. That was cool though. Huh? That was pretty cool though. I actually did see him. Oh, he came over for a look and then went, no, I'm not going to do this.
fish they said. Cheers, a good one. Keep your eyes peeled. Yeah. Yep, got him, got him, got him, got him, got him, got him. Oh, good fish. <laughs> no, it's a nice big brown. Oh, on the placky, on that little slow break there. That is a chunky fish. That is a chunky fish. Beautiful. That's how you get them, see, Hen? On that current line there. Yeah. All right. <laughs> what you could probably do next is probably cast that one back that way. Ooh. But before you go too far, we'll get a quick picky so we can get this guy back in the water. Okay. There we go. Nice chunky fish, really deep through the body. Absolutely beautifully marked brown trout um, here on the Matara River. Uh, I've had a couple of close encounters today, but uh, that fish, I've, ch Oops, I've chucked on the spin. All right, you can just sit there, buddy. Good idea. I chucked on the spin uh, just because we're in a deeper section. I've actually got my fly rod with me, um, just shoving it down my back so I can do the stuff that's more appropriate for that. Henry's on the spin as well, so we can mix it up and, uh, and get ourselves a few fish. But uh, this guy is ready to go, so we're going to get him gone. Yes. How's that? That is awesome. That is why we came to this river today. Like I said earlier in the clip, we bypassed the uh, Twizel Canals chasing those big monsters so we can get onto some, some wild trout, um, the ones that haven't been fed up full of uh, fish pellets. Uh, it's fairly trying conditions because the river is up a little bit um, and it's a little bit dirty too. And we've got clouds so we can't really spot them that easily. I don't care because we're on the board and there's plenty more river fish. See what I mean by picking the right water though? No good standing there in the one spot that's rubbish. These are the little pockets you got to find and then fish them hard. That's absolutely crazy, that's mad. Fish them hard and then move on to the next good spot. Hang on. Here. Don't be in too much of a hurry to land them if they get in that fast water they're going to run and you might have to run down the bank with them <laughs> but you've got to keep tension into them yeah. so I'm surprised one. that we're dropping them with those hooks because they're usually really good that's good bud, that's real good like that just slow and steady through that stuff Surprised if there's not a fish sitting near here. Very surprised. They're so hard to spot though with the bit of wind on the water and a bit of colour in the water. Now we've got to pay attention to where those fish were. That's the bit we've got to concentrate on. Yep. Oh, no. Dropped him. Bugger. Just a small one, I think. Oh. See, you can't see him, but.
Yep, got him. Double hook up, double hook up, double hook up. Hands on, I'm on. <laughs> oh, not another one, Hen. Not another one. Ah, oh, beautiful little brown here. Oh, just taking the bottom nymph and the wife's on the phone to say, where are you guys up to? Hello. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hello. I'm a service of the police How's it going? Great. I've got a fish on the bank right. I've got a fish with me right now. Oh, I'll catch you. We're up the hill a fair bit, so. Yeah, okay. All right, we'll see you in Invercargill. All right, awesome. We're having a good time, so we might keep going with what we're doing. There's okay. heaps of fish. Awesome. <laughs> All right, well, you guys travel safely, and we'll see you tonight for dinner at about 7 o'clock. Yep, easy done. All right. Right. Bye. Bye. <laughs> oh, my God. Why? Can you taste it? Like, what, what am I doing wrong, Dad? I don't know, mate. We might have to change hooks arra hook arrangements. Well, do you want me to just... Nice little brown there. Or well, can I just chuck on your plastic? Oh, yes, absolutely. Yeah, I'll just do that. It's just Taking on that little nymph there. Little brass head nymph sitting below <laughs> a dry fly. That's so Henry, was up the same time, weren't you, Hen? Yeah, yeah, that's right. Probably to a better fish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you're right. Well, I'll see you tonight for dinner at about 7 o'clock. Yep, easy done. Alright, we'll see you in the car. Alright, awesome. We're having a good time. Yeah. Uh, but he's having trouble getting in the hold, so we're going to drop him to a single hook with a jig head straight after I pop that tiny little fly out of that oh, guy's that's, mouth. That's so mad. Hopefully we get a uh, rise as the afternoon comes along. Oop, 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 oop. He's between my legs. <laughs> he's going on the bank. Wrong way, bud. <laughs> there he goes. You. Good job hooking up again, Hen, but we might just adjust your tackle to uh, improve that sticking rate. Yep. All right. Good job. Well done. Bang. Good job. Up on the Matara River. Oh, was that another hit? Oh. Hitting the... Oh, you got him. He's got him. That's all right. Yep. It's all good. Just don't pump him. Just keep whining, buddy. Well done. Yep, now just, yep. Nice fish, now just walk back for me. Walk back for me. Walk back. There's the fish. Walk back. <laughs> That's so easy! What the? Yeah. That's crazy! <laughs> oh, I didn't even get to have a spin yet. I mean, another cast with a fly yet. Alright, we'll get the camera out real quick. You can put your rod down, you can pick that fish up for me. Very cool. Righto, send him off, buddy. Whoop, straight past me. Well done. Yeah, that's crazy. Oh. He's, he's out there. Oh, yep. Oh, damn. Oh, I told you he was out there. Got him? He good? Another little one? Nice work, bud. Uh, we'll just show the folks at home and you can send him back. That's not the big one that you've seen, is it, mate? Nice little brown there. Well done, bud. Beautiful. Send him back. Here you go, mate. 
Dude, I don't know. A lot of fish in here. Oh, missed him. Come on, eat it. Eat it, eat it, eat it, eat it, eat it. You know where they are? They're right on that change of colour. I need to get my fly out a bit deeper then. There's more of them sitting there, I think. Oh, got him, got him, got him, got him. Fish, oh! Slightly better. Slightly better. Be nice, huh? You're going to take a photo? Nah, that's all right. That's how you catch a brown trout. Oh, maybe we better get a photo. Two on the fly. Is that good brightness? Two on spin. I don't know. You, you can tell me. We won't muck around good. any longer. Is that good? Yeah, beautiful, mate. Nice shot. That little bit of backlighting. Right. See you, buddy. <laughs> Catch and release. Catch and release. Yo. Oh. <laughs> Good day, bud. Yeah. Well done on your fish. Yeah. Oops, sorry, guys. Righto, that's it for us today. I've got a fly rod stuck in me waders just so we could power spin our way back up because we always fish to the last minute. And the last minute is here. We've got to be down in Invercargill in an hour and I think we're a little bit over an hour away so we're gonna get moving thanks for watching guys it's another one of our New Zealand trout adventures